Hey everybody, this is Paul with Collector's Escape talking today about books and these are some interesting science fiction genre books that many people enjoy and these are alternative history books. And uh, many of you may have watched movies like The Man in the High Tower uh, by Philip K. Dick that uh, was recently made an alternative about World War II and today we're going to talk about an author that we collected a whole bunch of. He writes a lot of different kinds of books, but he has a huge library of alternative history books, and his name is Harry Turtle Dove. What a, what a great day, Turtle Dove. You can put that in a hundred different songs. Let's show you some of the alternative books. This one is an alternative book entitled Liberating Atlantis. This is alternative if uh, Atlantis wasn't lost to the world. Uh, puts the assertion that it was real. Here is a book that reminded me a lot of In the High Castle. I had to look to make sure that uh, Harry Turtle Dove didn't write that book. And this is In the Presence of Mine Enemies. This is a World War II uh, book. Again, without uh, Nazi Germany being destroyed, here is two Civil War alternative history books. This is The Guns of the South. The Guns of the South. And this book is set up where the South is about to lose and uh, Lee is, is about to give up. And all of a sudden a man shows up with an amazing weapon that could rapid fire and gives it to him and gives him this technology called the AK-47 and it changes the war. The South does not lose. Here's a follow-up companion called um, a novel of the second war between the states, How Few Remain. And so this, this takes up the war, you know, uh, was in the 1860s war, the Civil War, this is around 1881 and the North that gets beat is going to come back and, and try to win again. And I think it's interesting that most science fiction lovers enjoy history. And you might not think about it. A lot of people may not say, oh, I'm a big champion of history. I just love sci-fi. But you really have to understand the present and you have to understand the past if you want to speculate about the future. And that's what science fiction does. It speculates about the future in bad ways, with dystopian stories or good ways uh, with finding new life in other parts of the galaxy and other galaxies unknown. But you kind of have to know about the past. And a lot of the steampunk science fiction really starts in the past and, and shoots forward to the future. And so you really have to be a lover of history. That's my belief. Here's a set of Turtle Dove books. Uh, this first one, again, this is Alternative History. It um, is based on Nazi Germany, United States, Russia, all still fighting, and then an alien force comes in. And the first one is called, I'm going to double check to make sure, because it makes me think, no, it's called Second Contact. Second Contact. This moves into colonization. And then the third in the book is Aftershocks. These are books by Harry Turtle Dove that uh, are alternative history, all of them. He has more. And he has a lot of books that are outside the realm. And so now uh, we're going to finish up collecting all these alternative histories for our master library here. Plus, we're probably going to pick up all his books. Because if he can do as good on these, he's probably got more great books. Now, while we were at the bookstore, we found one more. This is uh, Gunpower, Gunpowder Empire, another alternative history from Harry Turtle Dove. We're talking Roman times. So it's even more ancient. And then a couple other authors that I ran across. I just had to get Catherine Skye with Witch Dame. I have to tell you, the cover got me right there. If you know much about this author, tell me about it. Comment below. Please subscribe. We'd love to have your subscription and your comments. 
And we had to pick up Antibodies uh, by Isaac Asimov already on our list. We're already collecting this author, but I just couldn't say no. I saw it, I was like, well, I'm buying it. Sometimes I see this, uh, when I go to the used bookstore, every time they provide me with a shopping cart. And that's, that's not a joke, because that's what I pick up, pick up in bulk. Now, uh, you may see our my t-shirt, my new t-shirt, uh, Rodent Mutation. This is a book from an interesting British company that went out of business in the 1960s called Badger Books. And they've got a little badger right here, if you can see it. We're going to be pulling all those books. I'm in love with the science fiction version. They did all different genres. We're going to stay in the science fiction. And we're in the process of making these covers available for t-shirts. And uh, one thing the Badger Books did, a ton of awesome vintage 1960s sci-fi. I also picked up a couple of new uh, uh, postcards, Zazzle postcards, of our Pulp Fiction. Here's one from Fantastic, tell me now, Fantastic Novels. And we'll put the link below for this if you want to get a postcard like this, you can get it. Here's one of our Terror Tales. Terror Tales, very big, 30s, 40s, 50s, uh, vintage science fiction, uh, really cool, really creative. And uh, we're going to uh, make those available, those links below. People get angry at me if I forget to put the links to the stuff I show. I'm working on that. We're going to have comics we're going to talk about next time around. Keep collecting. My name is Paul for Collector's Escape. Please tell your friends about the channel. We want to grow it. We want to share it with other collectors that want to get information. They want to get uh, see these cool covers and hear from other great collectors of everything collectible. Have a great day.